All right, let's look at some challenge problems related to area and circumference. So really, you need to know the formulas for parallelograms, triangles, trapezoids, and circles, and being able to identify what the problem is talking about and what formula you need to use. So find the height of a parallelogram with an area of 131.22 inches squared and a base of 8.1 inches. So I'm circling my key information. I know that we are talking about a parallelogram. So my formula is area equals base times height. So I'm gonna plug in what I know. My area of 131.22 is equal to my base of 8.1 times my unknown height. And now I'm going to go about solving this. My height is being multiplied by 8.1, so I'm going to divide by 8.1. Cancels out on this side, and then I'm just dividing 131.22 divided by 8.1. I get 16.2, and since we're talking about height, it's just inches. All right, number two, find the height of a triangle with an area of 39.2 meters squared and a height of 5.6 meters. So I'm circling my key information, the numbers given to me. We are talking about a triangle. And again, we're finding that height. We don't know the height. So my formula is area equals base times height divided by two. So I'm plugging in what I know, which is we have an area of 39.2 is equal to, whoops, it says height twice. So let's say that it gives us the base. So we have a base of 5.6 times an unknown height divided by two. Now we're going to go about solving this. It's being divided by 2. We're going to get rid of that by multiplying both sides by 2. A lot of people forget this step first. They try to just go through solving without plugging it into the formula, and they miss this. They divide at the end. we got to reverse it. Dividing is our last step, so it's going to be our first step in solving. So these two cancel out. We're left with 5.6h equals... 39.2 times 2 is 78.4. Then our next step, h is being multiplied by 5.6, so I'm going to divide both sides by 5.6. Cancels out. 78.4 divided by 5.6 is 14. And our units were meters. All right, number three, find the radius of a circle if the circumference is 78.5 inches. So we're given 78.5, we are finding the radius and specifically that 78.5 is the circumference. Since there's two formulas for the circumference, I'm gonna use the one that has radius in it. So circumference equals two pi r. Let's plug in what we know. 78.5 is our circumference is equal to 2 times our pi value 3.14 times our unknown radius. First thing I'm going to do when I'm solving this is first I'm going to simplify here. So 2 times 3.14 is 6.28 times our radius. Now I can solve. Our radius is being multiplied by 6.28. I'm going to divide both sides by 6.28. So 78.5 divided by 6.28, and I get 12.5. We're talking about inches. If you would use the diameter, you would just, if you'd use the diameter for me, you would just have to divide at the end. All right, number four, find the diameter of a circle if the area is 80 yards squared. So we are finding the diameter. We have the area. 
You can't pick and choose what formula to use. So even though the area formula doesn't use the diameter, we can find the radius and then use that to find the diameter. So our area formula is area equals pi r squared. So I'm going to plug in 80 for the area equals pi, which is 3.14, times our radius, whoops, which we don't know, is radius squared. So first step, r squared is being multiplied by 3.14, so we're going to get rid of it by dividing by 3.14. So 80 divided by 3.14. We get a really long decimal. I do try to wait and, uh, uh, what do you call it? Round until the end. I'm gonna write out, cause we get this really long one. I'm gonna write out 25.477 and that should be enough. So 25.477. And then remember, we're solving equations, we're always using inverse operations. If there's multiplication, we divide. If there's addition, we subtract. So if there's squaring, the opposite is square rooting. The square root of r squared is r. And then the square root of 25.477. So if you have a calculator like this, you're going to do second. And then above the x squared button, there's a square root sign. So if you click second and then you click that button, should give you the square root sign, 25.477. Click enter, I get 5.047. I'm gonna round that to about 5.0 or just five. And we're talking about yards. Remember, we were solving for the diameter though, so that's twice that, so five times two is 10 yards. All right, number five, find the circumference of a circle with an area of 254.34 meters squared. So we're looking for the circumference. We are given the area. So area only gives us one formula. That's the one that we have to start with. So we've got our area equals pi r squared. Plug in what we know, 254.34 equals 3.14 radius squared. To solve this equation, our radius squared is being multiplied by 3.14, so we're gonna divide both sides by 3.14. Cancels out on this side, we're left with r squared equals 254.34 divided by 3.14 is 81 r is being squared, the opposite is to square root. Square root of 81 is nine. Now, we're gonna plug this back in to find the circumference. So I'm gonna use the formula, circumference equals two pi r, since we have our radius. So our circumference equals two times 3.14 times our radius of nine. So I'm just plugging that in, two times 3.14, times nine gives us 56.52, and we're talking about meters. All right, last one, number six. Find the area of a circle with a circumference of 25 centimeters. So our circumference formula, that's what we are given here. We are finding the area. For area, we need radius, so the circumference formula that I'm gonna use is the one with radius. So C equals two pi r. So our radius of 25 equals two times 3.14 times r. When I'm solving this, first I'm gonna simplify two times 3.14 is 6.28 times our radius equals 25. Next step, r is being multiplied by 6.28, so I'm gonna divide by 6.28. We get r equals 25 divided by 6.28 is a long decimal. I'm gonna keep it as precise as possible right now, so I'm gonna, I'm gonna run to the nearest hundred, 3.98. So that's a 
four, three point nine eight. Then we're going to use this to find our area. So our area formula, area equals pi r squared. So our area equals 3.14 times our radius of 3.98 squared. And I'm just going to plug that into my calculator. 3.14 times 3.98 times 3.98. And I get a long decimal. I'm going to round to the nearest tenth equals 49.7, and we're talking about inches squared.